so the website's not confusing to you but to everybody to people who are shopping and they're looking at 10 20 30 websites it's confusing you gotta look at it and say is it too complex hey how are you doing it's alan here and i want to talk about this book building a story brand building a story brand very i've talked about this before it's about the hero's journey and it's about your customer your customer or your prospect is the hero you are the guide and you're giving them a plan you're giving them a plan and what i want to talk about today is the plan the plan because we all have this problem i have this problem i'm assuming you have this problem i think everybody has the same problem they know their product they know their area they know their service so well so well now i have this problem i've been in digital marketing a long 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 time so i know digital marketing really well and part of the issue of knowing something really really well which i'm sure you know your product or your service really really well the part of the issue is known that so well is that you assume and i do this i think everybody does this you assume everybody knows what you know everyone doesn't know what you know but you assume you just make this kind of assumption everyone knows what i know obviously everyone knows that no people don't know People don't know they haven't lived the same life. They haven't had the same issues that you've had to overcome. They don't know your product the way you know it. And because of that, we give too much information. And too complex information. Too, or the information we give out is too complex. This is the core of the story brand. When we're giving them a plan... We're giving our customers or our prospects the plan. We're a guide giving a plan. And when we give them the plan, the plan is too complicated. There's too much information. The website is confusing. It's obvious to you. It's all obvious to you. The website isn't confusing to you. But you're an expert. You are an expert. So the website's not confusing to you. But to everybody, to people who are shopping and they're looking at 10, 20, 30 websites, it's confusing. They don't want to have to work it all out. It's got to be really, 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 really simple. And also use a design aspect called a white space, which means there's blank space on the website too. So it doesn't overwhelm. But... Reading this book, Building a Story Brand, lets you know that really what you need to do, if you have a website, if you're selling a product, if you're selling a service, if you are an expert in any area, you need to go into your website and simplify. And simplify. Take out any jargon words, no jargon words, get rid of them. Simplify. Take out most of the information now. I build sales pages, big long sales pages. But, and it's okay if you want to do 300, 600, 900 word sales pages, absolutely fine. But headings are huge and everything is a benefit. Everything is a benefit to the client. Everything is a benefit. And it's simple. And there's a number of call to action buttons as you go through. But it's just simplify. We need to simplify and simplify and simplify. This is what Apple have done. A hardware keyboard is too complex. Get rid of it. They have a software keyboard. And a phone is too small. The BlackBerry keyboard is too small. People aren't using it. Get rid of it. Too complex. We have one button on the phone. One button to bring you home. One hardware button. That's it. Simplify. So, if you're looking at a website 
And you're wondering, well, is it modern, modern enough? Does it explain enough? Is it, are we selling enough? You got to look at it and say, is it too complex? Do we need, what can we get rid of? Steve Jobs used to say, and Johnny Ive, who was the main design person there, they're much more, do you say they're much more proud of the features they've taken out of the products than the features they've put in? Much more proud of the features they've taken out of the products. So go to your website. What can you take out? What can you get rid of? How can you simplify? How can you make it so simple? Where's the, where's that? Get rid of the jargon. There's not a word for that. Not a word for that complex jargon you're using. And I have this problem because, you know, I talk about SEO. I think today some people, most people understand what SEO is. But I talk about back, even when I'm saying things like backlinks or you know, URLs, I think most people know what URLs are these days, but a lot of people don't. So I've got to be careful with my language. I usually pride myself in speaking in simple language everyone can understand and not trying to blind people with science and using jargon. But, you know, even I've got to be careful about what I'm saying because it just, these things seem obvious to me, but they're not obvious to everybody. And whatever area you're in, if you're a mechanic, it's going to be a lot of things that seem obvious to you that just go right over my head or I'm just confused. And I know what I want I, for my for my masculinity. I want to pretend that I know what you're saying. <laughs> but it's going to affect whether you're going to buy or not. So simplify. Get rid of that jargon. The builder comes in. <laughs> he tells me, yeah, we need blah, 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 whatever it is. I'm going to pretend I know what he's talking about. But I, I probably won't have a clue. So we need to simplify. Simplify. Simplify our words. Simplify that website. Take everything out. Simple benefits before and afters. Testimonials. Everything's a benefit. Everything is a benefit to the prospect. Every single thing. And that huge, huge, huge call to action. Big, huge call to action that you can't miss. Look at Domino's Pizza website. There's a huge button. Order now. Big, huge green button. Order now. At least there was the last time I looked at it. But just simple. Really, really simple. And take everything out. And that's what the, and it's a plan. We're doing a plan for our clients. And give away the information. Give away as much information as you can. As mu- give it all away. Give it all away. They'll still come to you and they'll still buy. They will still buy. But give them their plan. Give them their plan and make it really, really simple. That is just paraphrasing from this book, Building a Story Brand. It's not exactly what they they said. But if, you, if you're interested in what they said, just buy the book and read it. You, can read, you don't need me to read the book to you. But simplify. Simplify that website. Simplify that marketing. Simplify that email. Make it so, so easy to buy. This has been Alan here. So I want to talk about building a story brand and making your website Simple.